All right, I'm all semi set up with a little bit of shipping here in my corner at Dennis's shop. And I got my 3D printer going, boy. It's just printing, uh, they came with a little SD card here and it's printing a hub here. So it said it had a, a 3D hub. I don't know what that means, but um, I already printed like this little gear bearing that was really cool. So I just wanted to get the printer going again because I just like seeing it run. But Dennis actually needs cover panel for his uh, COE. So I'm going to try to design it on Fusion, see how bad I can screw it up, and see if I can get it to print on here. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but I'm gonna try. The experts helping me because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to. Working on it. I'm gonna turn it on. How wide? Like long, yeah. Um, I'll have to look at my pictures. Can only help when you know your information. And here. How big of a radius do you want? Let's do a eighth inch. See what an eighth inch looks like. Uh, do quarter inch. Yeah. Okay. All right, I've been slaving over this computer for hours. And Alex did all the work for me. Because yeah. it was way out of my, my league. So, so, it's pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think we added quite a few nice touches that are really going to make this basically a production piece for COEs. I don't think that's a high demand, but um, it's interesting because it's a curved piece, and so when you have like that kind of geometry, there's basically like a hundred different. Let ways me flip to do this it. bad boy around. All right. So there's a bunch of different ways to do everything, especially like with stuff like this. Some ways could be right and wrong. I don't know, but as long as you get the job done. So basically, what I did here is since that's a curved plane and that's the main shape, I started with the curve, extruded that, filleted it, and then made a separate body down here, and then. We extruded Maybe. through the body. And then cut it. It's a whole process. And then I went ahead and added... Nick wanted to add snaps, so... I drew so we can couple. snap it in. The, the snap, the little snap pieces are even offset because the dash is thicker on the bottom than the top. So, next process is Nick can figure out how to print this, and I'm going to come back to actual work. Whatever, dude. Yeah, yeah, so... The hard part's done, hopefully. Tom, what do you think? <laughs> Tom looks like the guy from uh, 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 Toolman 10. Toolman, yeah. <laughs> Home improvement. Home improvement. Yeah, like, don't show your face, just your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Dad looks like that half the time. We've got a lot of videos of him looking like that. That's funny. Alright, I'm going to try not to F this up and try not to F my printer up. I guess I should have taken that course Alex got me. But I had to take it with the email you bought the, bought it with, and I didn't have it, so it was, it was a big ordeal. It was just too much. <laughs> I'm just gonna Google how to do it now. All right, so thank God for. Sorry, I'm so excited. Um, thank God for YouTube. But look at this. You can simulate the tool path. You're such a noob. I know. So this is how they do it in CNC too. Like if you're it says recalculate. Well, well, you're not no tool paths available. What so do you mean? Nick is new to this. I just did this. Yeah, but you have to. What have you done here? Go to setup three. Right click. And then you should be able to. 
Oh, manufacturing model one potentially. You have to like. Oh, Nick, you've got the units in millimeter. That's what it. That it's set up like that for. It's it's cut. It's printing it the right way. It's it sets it up. The units. No, it's set up for that units okay, based I drew, off. I drew, I drew it in inches. I know, but it's based. It it converts it based off of what printer, the printer settings. I really like your enthusiasm, and it'll probably be okay. But I actually like it'll be fine for this three D printing. But if you were gonna do it like a CNC type stuff, like okay, you make stuff match. So here we go. She'll be okay here, but whatever. He's, he's using the correct unit. Look at that. Huh? He's using the correct units. No, Tom. Tom. We don't use units. We do use units. We just don't use smoke removers. <laughs> you are a unit. Look at that. I guess I might as well show you now. I came running in here and didn't said, You scared the crap out of me. I thought there was a fire. Because you don't run. All right, I'll show you what we're making. What, what we designed that piece for and why we designed it and then we'll go check and make sure the printer isn't completely crashed itself because Alex doesn't know how to design stuff. I didn't set up a tool pack. I did off of YouTube. It's got to be right. I'm going to show them what we're making the thing for and then we're going to go back there and make sure that it hasn't crashed already. So he wants to put... Basically, we made that piece snap in there so you can put switches or just cover that or whatever. What kind of switches are you putting in there? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> <laughs> it may stay blank. It's a good place for a switch if oh. we need one. But you can put your hydraulic switches in there. So I've also got a console and I've got a poly dash, so it has switches built in. I'm not sure. Uh. But one way or the other, it'll either be a cover or it'll be a switch cover. Either way, either I'm way. so excited about this if you can't tell. Can't tell. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go make sure it's not already screwed up. <laughs> oh, we're still going. We're still going. Look at that. That thing is slick. We had to come back for a late night printer print check. We couldn't we couldn't wait till the morning. See if it's still going. No, you can't go before me, dude. It's still going, it's still going, it's still going. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. Looks like we might be having a little bit of technical difficulties. With what? Well, I guess that's just kind of some stringiness yeah. that we have to clean up. I mean it's just <laughs> Pretty freaking cool. I don't know what's going on with this edge right here. here. So it looks like we need to add some supports down for our lip that comes out out here. Because the edge is warped really bad and didn't really do anything they fell through. And the centers when it's printing. I think we need supports in the center too that we can break out. So I think we'll chalk this one up to a learning experience. And I'm still pretty freaking proud of how the first print went because it's still, I mean, the base is perfect. Like the little lip we put on the bottom for the, to snap in, it all looks really good. So I think I just need to add this, some supports to it. <clears throat> what do you think? some of that wire I was chewing on. Why are uh, you chewing on wire? It was the plastic, I don't know. Um, I think that it looks pretty good for being the first drawing for it. And- Hold on a second, is my phone in cinematic? Okay, I'm out of cinematic mode, sorry. <laughs> I was saying that I think it looks pretty good for being the first drawing, considering that yeah. it's not been done before, but that's part of the process of learning it. Learning. But it also might be safe. There's no saying that. So it'll be interesting when it's done to see what it looks like when it's pulled off the, the plate. 
Mm hmm Come on. Come back to it later. I yep. say tomorrow. Yep. Night. See how bad she looks. I guess it looks better than I thought, but yeah, I think I'm gonna have to add supports to under here. It's rough, yeah, it's because of the way it's way that laid on. Probably didn't let these strings lay right. Thing is, though, I feel like for the first print, I'm just happy that we even got it to print, and it actually turned out kind of how I imagined it. So now I can just make adjustments from there. It looks like it would go this way instead of this way. I might be able to change how it prints to print it the other way. Maybe just a little bit big, but not too bad. I mean, if it was... Yeah. The curve's a little bit... Well, maybe not. The curve's probably about it's right. Close. The dash isn't just a, a continuous curve. It's not symmetric. After a lot of grinding... We got it to fit in there, so it actually fits the contour decent, but we're gonna try to taper it off more and maybe put lettering in it. Make it look a little better, but honestly, for the first time ever printing anything, I think it turned out pretty dang good. Back to the drawing board to make it nicer. So unfortunately, I'm not able to stay in Arkansas today and keep working on the little 3D printed piece for the COE because like that's <laughs> what's on my mind right now is trying to make that better. Um, I'm like in this rabbit hole of just learning about 3D printing right now and it's really got me intrigued just because like I've wanted to do it for so long and just the process of it and learning it and even, I mean, I think how it can carry over into like machining stuff um it really really intrigues me so i'm trying to learn more about it um it, like i said i'm just going down this rabbit hole but i'm gonna get back on it after uh i go i'm going to do my buddy brandon's headers right now getting ready to fly out um so that's the end of this video uh if you have any excuse me if you have any tips or tricks or like links to anything that might actually be able to teach me something that or if you see something i'm doing wrong if you know more than i do about 3d printing uh let me know because i need all the help i can get uh i'm just like i said i'm excited about the new year i'm excited to be learning things trying new things uh after i get done at brandon's i'm gonna be heading to sick week so you get uh you'll be getting some sick week videos um i'm glad to be back doing some uh doing some content just doing what feels right again so end of this video going to the next video i'm getting ready to go in the airport now i'm going to actually edit this video in the airport and then actually maybe even work on some fusion stuff like trying to figure out how to unscrew up the piece that i made and make it better so uh i'm gonna be going and doing that stuff so i'll be back very shortly sorry i'm a little rusty on my video game it's been a long time i've just been working i've been in I've just been in like this black hole of working. Like it was a healthy black hole, but it was just work, work, work. So I'm getting back to the content stuff. I'm rusty at it. I'm sorry. I'll get better. <laughs>